hate my hair so much. I look like a young Justin Bieber. I look like the fifth member of the Beatles. I look like a long lost Beatle. Hey guys, 7 W Rocks here. And I really, do, first I want to apologize. Uh, not doing a video since like Saturday. and uh, That might not seem bad, but uh, four days or whatever um, is pretty bad for me. Usually I try to do day to day, um, every other day, you know. Um, so that's really disappointing that uh, I wasn't able to make a video. And I actually tried making one yesterday, a raw review or kind of review. I just got so frustrated and mad during it, I literally just couldn't get through like a video. Like I tried like five different times at least to make a video and I either just started making sentences that didn't make sense at all or just got so frustrated I had to stand up during the video just because I was so mad. Um, yeah, Raw sucked. But talking about some TNA, um, Bound for Glory is coming up. It's this Sunday. Um, I'm excited for it. Predictions coming tomorrow or Friday probably. Definitely uh, Friday at the latest. But... Um, uh, Kurt Angle's having his, uh, you know, last Bound for Glory match, um, because his contract is going to expire, and he said he's not going to renew it, uh, the, at the end of the year, so, you know, that, that sucks, but I was like, okay, we're going to have a great Bound for Glory match against an, you know, awesome, uh, deserving opponent, um, and I was really excited for it. Then they announced the day before, on this Saturday, they're doing a live event, TNA is, um, Kurt Angle will face EY, so it's his returning match, he's gonna verse, uh, Eric Young in the live event, so I was like, you know, okay, cool, and then I got thinking, you know, once matches started getting announced, you know, Drew Galloway was gone, the Wolves were gone, you know, they were doing their matches, EC3 is doing his match, um, I started thinking, you know, who's gonna face Angle, so, um, uh, me and my friend, WDTNA 1152 go check his channel, we were basically thinking it's probably gonna be EY, but I feel like there is a part in both of us, I'm not gonna speak for him, but uh, for me, I was like, you know, maybe it's not. Maybe they're going to bring back Aries. Maybe they're going to give it some young talent, a, a big shot, you know, to freaking steal the show with Angle. No. They announced it's going to be Eric Young uh, versus St. Kurt Angle. So this really I don't get. I'm sure it's going to be better than the live event match, but why do a freaking, pay, you know, Bound for Glory match, his final Bound for Glory match, why do it where he's versing the guy the day before at a freaking live event in front of, you know, 200 people or 300, how many that's going to show up? Um, I just really don't get. So I was really disappointed. I personally wanted it to be Davey uh, Richards. I just thought that'd be cool, really put someone over. I'm not saying EY isn't deserving, but I just feel like he's already an established guy. He's been world champion before. He always has that on his resume. He doesn't really have to say, you know, uh, you know, oh, I beat this guy. That's why I'm good. I freaking won the ch world championship. That's all he should he should need to say, really. But I'm really disappointed with that. I, you know, I was thinking maybe even Mandrews. I mean, he put on from what I heard in the you know Bola preview. It seemed like he freaking blew everyone away at Bola. I was thinking maybe he can have a match and really steal a show with him. Maybe Spud. Um, I've been hearing. I don't know if it's true that he's gonna be in the X division uh, match. Which is cool and all, but Spud is such a great year with TNA, and uh, he did such great things. I honestly feel like Spud doesn't deserve an X Division, not doesn't deserve, but I feel he's too good for the X Division Championship match. He should have a match one-on-one, -on -one, not just, you know, get thrown in at the last second just because he's a small guy. I think he's so deserving, he deserves to um, have this match with Angle again and probably go over. I don't think EY needs to go over. I honestly don't know who's going to win. I'm, I'll am i make my prediction tomorrow or Friday or whatever, but um, I think it should have gone somebody that gets put over, like a Rockstar Spud, you know, McIntyre, Davey Richards, Mandrews, whatever, Eddie Edwards. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I was going to talk a little about the um, King of the Mountain Championship, but I've, I've already gone too long on this video. I know four minutes isn't long, but, you know, whatever. So uh, if you do want me to talk about the King of the Mountain Championship and what I think they should have done with it, then by all means let me know. Um, but if you don't, that's okay. So thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at 7 rocks. I'll be tweeting during TNA tonight. Um, won't be watching NXT. I'll just wait tomorrow or Friday um, or the weekend or whatever. But yeah, I'm going to be watching TNA and I can't wait for it. So thank you so much for watching. As always, have a nice day. And please let me know what you think of Eric Young being Kurt Angle's Bound for Glory uh, opponent. So thank you. Have a great day.